Who's so. winning? Oh, uh, Stang, for sure. There's no doubt in my mind. I'm sure he's probably thinking, i put these guys over. And the Bucks are probably thinking, no, you're not. So we may have, who knows what'll happen on Sunday night. We may have a fight over who's losing. Brian, Brian and Vinny, along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. Wrestling. It's the Brian and Vinny and sometimes other people show, which today is not Brian and Vinny and no other people. Not Brian and Vinny and no other people. And then Tiffany hitting a giant dive off the pod and everyone. They really gave Tiffany a ton. In. And as soon as I say that, Liv drops her right on her face and pins her and everyone boos and chants bullshit because everyone in Australia loves Tiffany. Cody said he's going to main event mania against Roman Reigns, but between now and then, he would like a one-on-one match with The Rock. Seth Rollins joined him, said there's no such thing as a one-on-one match with the bloodline. I will be there to watch your back. That's it. That was the point. I just recapped that here. I sort of timed it, but I think it was less than 10 seconds. It took 20 minutes to get through all this. AJ Styles flew halfway around the world from Georgia to Australia to beat up Ellie Knight with a chair. That's all he wanted to do. Drew McIntyre wins. It will be Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Drew's been on fire lately. Drew's been excellent. I'm just going to level with you. I thought this match was awesome. Apparently, Brian did not. Nia Jax, I thought was so bad in this match. Nia's job was to be a big, unmovable giant that Rhea Ripley, the hero, had overcome. And my God, was Nia a great giant in this match. There's the part of being a monster where you're killing the other person. And then there's a part of being the monster where you make the other person look good when it's time. And she didn't do that at any point during this match. I thought this would have been the best match on a lot of WWE shows. I thoroughly enjoyed Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax, and I shall accept no other opinions. Tremendous wrestling display. It shows how many different ways Will Ospreay is the best wrestler in the world right now. How many different kinds of great matches he can have. Vinny, are you going to talk at all about why you're at home, or is that like top secret? I had uh, some outpatient surgery Monday morning, and I am gooed up on oxys, and nice. uh, not fit to drive. It's not as nice as I. How like many it, extras actually. you got? <laughs> uh, talk to me after the show. The contest should be Guess Vinny's Surgery. I did say that. Mm. You do remember this? I was messed up, but I do remember it. Dude, it better not have been a vasectomy. (laughs) uh, Did you get a pump put in or anything? All right. (laughs) Well, no, no, no. We're going to do the contest. (laughs) Two hints. Uh, It's embarrassing. I am generally a miserable person. Those are the two hints. That was the second one, a hint. It may explain some of the misery. Does that no, mean you're going to be like happy and go yeah, lucky Yeah, are you going to be happy now? I, I may need to so. see if the surgery can be reversed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of gimmick are you going to have if you're happy? Hey, at least it's not revealed on the Christmas show. Has anyone talked about your vasectomy? <laughs> have you talked about it? <laughs> that was a rough week, brother. <laughs> what do we have on Granny's Facebook here today? Okay. It says here, Who's tell next us- to talk? <laughs> what I need is like an elimination chamber where I can just have the one, the person who's supposed to talk light up and then everyone knows to be quiet. Okay, it's your turn, Granny. <laughs> this is the best show ever. <laughs> come on, cut it out. I came out of surgery for this. <laughs> you want to stay I, under? I kind of wish I was, yes. You guys remember uh, The Rock? Heard of the yeah. guy? Don Morocco, yes. You mean yeah. The Wrestler, The Rock? The movie no, with Sean no, Connery? I'm talking about The Pet Rock. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> they should make a rock and put googly eyes on it and then have one eyebrow just a little bit higher than the other, and that's your pet rock. Samoa fucking Joe. The AEW World Heavyweight Champion today was doing... Commentary! Commentary at WrestleMania! He was a commentator! They were like, oh, this guy, you know, fuck, he's old. He just, nah. Oh, a big feud with Bra. Ah. You know what he needs to do? Commentary. He's distraught. Starts talking about his AEW run like it's in the past tense. He announces, this Sunday at Revolution, I will not be able to compete. And as he's doing his catchphrase, Hangman jumps him with a crutch, lays him out, screams at Joe, it means a shout, you won't be champion, he won't be champion, I will be champion. 
And I wrote down, so apparently it's still a three-way. This yeah. all makes sense in real life. Like, in real life, what happened was he wasn't sure he could make it, and so he did an angle to have an out in case he couldn't, but he could, and so then they did an angle to get him back in. But, like, in storyline, if you don't know any of that, Hangman, for reasons unknown, mm -hmm. faked an injury yes. so that he could come to the ring on a crutch and hit Swerve with it. Like, you know, I've seen a that lot was of his plan. Shivani brings out Will Ospreay, who is very happy to be here. Well, he's making a lot of money right now. Will Ospreay is yep. a top babyface. Right now, he's with a heel group. I know people think this should be dragged out, but to me, this thing needs to implode on Sunday, and Will needs to go off as your top company babyface. The fuck are we waiting for here? Let's get this show on the road. Chris Jericho versus Atlantis Jr., I didn't know if Chris was gassed or if he got his bell wrong or there was a language gap, but he was struggling for most of this match. Atlantis like, Jr.? No, Chris Jericho. Yeah, he was struggling because he was trying to carry Atlantis Jr. Well, there you go then. I did not think Atlantis Jr. looked good at all. The story is Sting went to his best friend in the world, Darby Allen, his frenemy Ric Flair, said, listen, I need you guys to get the holy living shit kicked out of you for minutes on end. So I can do a cool entrance and get a big pop. And they said, you got it, brother. Hey, it's his last dynamite. <laughs> Who's so. winning? Oh, uh, Sting, for sure. So you think Sting and Darby are winning? I, there's no doubt in my mind. I have doubt in my mind, but he should win. And I'm sure he's probably thinking, I'll put these guys over. And the Bucks are probably thinking, no, you're not. So we may have, who knows what will happen on Sunday night. We may have a fight over who's losing. This show was bizarre. Just bizarre, start to finish. I carry the flag for this NXT show. There's no reviewer anywhere in the wrestling business that loves NXT more than I do. And even I, I'm not liking this show lately. There's three impossibly stupid storylines that are ongoing week after week. When she has to make an announcement, she's fine. But when she has to act... Like, when she has to go back and forth with another person, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. I, and, and her father's The Rock. The Rock doesn't know who that guy is. Can she take some acting classes or something? You don't give that guy a podcast. You give him a straight jacket. Tatum had to not come to ringside. Tatum responded to this by saying that it would be, quote, the hardest thing I have ever done. Think about your surgery Monday, Vinny. Mm -hmm. Easier than not going to ringside. Apparently in Tatum Paxley's world, yeah. yes. Yeah. You know, my wife gave birth twice. Hmm. Yeah, once once she was in labor for like 16 hours. That sounds no fun. Was sure she was going to die. Hmm. Easier than not going to ringside. Yeah. I had my fucking balls removed. Felt like I'd been kicked in the nuts for a full week. Easier. We should clarify. <laughs> Easier. He had a vasectomy. Not going to ringside. He's not a eunuch. A shadowy figure lays Ridge out with a chair. And the fans start chanting 10, 10, 10. 10. 10. They knew right away this was, in fact, Sean Spears returning to NXT. Noam Dar versus a no-quarter catch crew Thank member for the Heritage Cup. God, we had this match. This match was excellent. So after weeks and weeks of building up Carmelo Hayes versus Ilya Dragunov with Tony D not in the picture at all, at the very last minute, Ilya's out of the match, Tony D is in, and the title's not even on the line. The title's safe until stand and deliver. What a weird bait and switch to cop off a weird, weird, weird show. I love Tony D, yeah. but it's it's like... This is idiot proof, and they've screwed it up. It should this... have been Carmelo winning the title, yeah. and then tricking Carmelo for the title, Meanie Weekend. These, two... how do you do this wrong? 